Nystatin is the second most commonly used antifungal medication after amphotericin B, of course. Now, they both have the same mechanism of action, nystatin and amphotericin B. They create a hole in the fungal wall, and this hole will cause the leakage of the inside components into the outside and the death of the fungal cell. Now, amphotericin B it can be used systemically, and they can be used for treating pretty much all fungal infections, but nystatin are very, very toxic, so we cannot use them for systemic treatment. Rather, we use them for topical or outside treatment that does not require the medication to go into the body. So they can treat all skin fungal infections and sometimes oral candida by something that we call a swish and swallow. So the patient takes the statin, they swish inside the mouth, and they clear out all the fungal infection. The main side effect stems from its potency and toxicity. It will cause redness and rash or itchiness in the area that is applied to and basically no systemic symptoms because it's never injected into the body. Now, resistance to statin, to statin um, just like amphotericin B, is almost unheard of, but if it does occur, it will occur in non-candida species and in only HIV patients.